In this section, we will finish the contact us section. All right. First thing we need to do is obviously refresh our homepage. And the first thing we see that we need to make a bigger gap between the columns, just like we have here. And we could also extend the height of the map to take the full height of the form that we have. As you can see in our site, it doesn't fit right now. Okay, so let's start by creating the gap between the columns. We can go to each of the column individually into the advanced tab and then change the default padding of each of them. For example, we can give right padding to the left column and left padding to the right column, and that will create separation between the columns. However, it's not recommended. It's a long process, and there is an easier way to achieve it. All right, so let's revert back to what it was. We will use our history feature option that I already showed you a few lectures ago by clicking on this history icon over here, and then choose a different version of this section. I'm going to choose this one. I can see that we reverted it back. Now we still have the default padding. And the easier way to achieve the gap is just go to the section settings. And here in the columns gap option, change it from default to extended or wide or wider. You can start with wide and see what it looks like. Or if you need wider, just change it to wider and you will see that the gap got wider. Great, so now we can see that there is a nice gap between the two columns. I love the way it looks. And now we will need to extend the height of the map to match the height of the form. So let's just play with the height over here. Just like so, we can set it to be 760. And it looks perfectly fine. I love this section. It's a very professional section. And now we will switch to mobile view to make sure it's looking good there as well. We can see that it's looking really good. However, we can just decrease the map height maybe to 200 pixels we don't need more than that in the mobile view just like so and now we can see that it looks perfectly fine in every screen size excellent job now we're done with the contact us section and we will need to hook it up with our menu and our hero section at the top okay how do we do that we'll go to our section settings into the advanced tab and here we have the option to give this section a CSS ID. So you can call it anything you want. I will make it descriptive enough so I will know what it is. And I will call it contact-us. It's also case sensitive. So whatever you write here, just make sure you remember it in a second. Click on update. And after you did it, go to your hero section. Scroll all the way up into the button. Excellent. Now inside the link field. We will leave the hashtag as is, and we will write the ID of the section, contact-us, just like so. And we're also going to hook the mobile button into our contact-us section as well. Excellent. And now let's click on update. Beautiful. Now we will refresh our homepage, click our button at the top, and make sure it's working. First of all, we can see that all the changes we made took effect, scroll up, click on the schedule appointment, and it will scroll you down to this contact us section. Perfect. Now let's hook this contact us menu item into our new section. To do that, let's go back to our dashboard, into our menus screen under appearance. Here we can see the contact us as a page, but it's not a page. It's a section inside our homepage. So we will delete this one and we will expand the custom links option. Here in the URL, we need to type in where this section exists. And this section live inside our homepage. The link of the homepage is this link. And to access this custom section, you will need to add hashtag and the ID of the section, just like so. And the link text will be contact us. Click on add to menu. You can see that it was added here at the bottom. And now save menu. Great. Now let's just make sure it's working so we can close this screen and refresh our homepage. Now we will click on the contact us option from the menu and we can see that we've been redirected to the section, which is excellent. Now let's go to a different page of the website. Let's say the about us. 
and from there we will also going to click on the contact us link we can see that it brought us back to the homepage and into the desired section. In the next lecture, we will create our website footer.